What's up, guys? Lucky here with your daily sports betting picks for Saturday, August 28th. We got a couple back last night, which is good uh, because it puts us a little above even for the week. Uh, the Toronto game cost us the clean sweep. I was way off on that total. And uh, maybe the Tigers have the Blue Jays number or something because Detroit's now won four out of the last five times they've played. But um, there's also an under trend starting to develop between those two teams. Five straight unders last five times they've played. Not that I really give a shit about trends, but um, let's get into today's play. I got a two-unit play, and it starts at 4 p.m. If I have anything else, I'll send it out via the text service, as always. If you haven't signed up for it yet, just simply text the word PICKS to the number on the screen, or you can click the link in the description below and opt in. It's free. No card info. Uh, and also, really quickly, a lot of people have been asking about uh, football or college football, and I'm going to be posting a video later today or definitely by tomorrow that's going to explain how we're going to do football picks. I'll explain everything in the video, so be on the lookout for that. Um, it'll likely be the next video that gets uploaded on this channel. Um, and speaking of this channel, who wants to be the 200th subscriber? Whoever it is, comment below because I want to take a mental note of the name. Um, my goal was to get to 200 uh, subscribers before football starts, and Hopefully one of you out there can make that happen. Uh, everything I do here at the Betting Network will always be free, uh, but a subscription to the channel or a like or even a comment is greatly appreciated. Uh, now with the plugs out of the way, let's get into today's play. I only got one so far. Uh, we'll likely have more later, but it is a two-unit play, and it's uh, in the Bo Sox indians game that starts at 4 p.m. It's a righty versus righty matchup. You know, I really like Cal Quantrell, uh, but it seems like the secret is out of the bag with him. He's no longer being priced as like a nobody pitcher. Um, in fact, at the current price, when you consider both offenses in this matchup, the odds makers are basically saying Cal Quantrell is equal or slightly even better than Evaldi. Uh, and maybe he's close, but I'm not even messing with the side in this one. I have two play on pitchers here, and I'm going to go with under the total of nine. Uh, for two units, really like both starters. They don't walk batters. They don't give up hard contact. Uh, the Cleveland offense has been hot recently, um, but they've played, you know, shitty teams, Texas, Minnesota, you know, bottom of the league arms. And I think that's why we can actually get nine here and not eight, which is where I think the total should be at. We know Boston can mash, but uh, Quantrell is a pitcher that can navigate this Red Sox lineup, I think. He's not a big strikeout guy, but he throws junk. And opposing batters have an average exit velocity of only 87 miles per hour and a 34% hard hit rate. In other words, um, he just doesn't allow solid contact. Uh, he's a ground ball type pitcher. He gets batters to ground out uh, roughly 45% of the time. Uh, pitchers that induce ground balls... Um, they can work themselves out of jams easier, you know, putting double plays into effect. And I actually don't mind both bullpens here, too. Um, the Red Sox made a great move adding Garrett Richards to the bullpen, and it paid off. Um, it's paid off recently. Um, and I like the Cleveland bullpen, too, at least the top end of it with the kid um, class or Emmanuel class and um, Blake uh, Parker. Um those two, those two guys at the top of their pen are solid. Um, we have some light wind blowing in from left field at Progressive Field, um, which is always helpful. But more importantly, if you look there at the bottom, we got Ron Culpa calling balls and strikes behind home plate. Now, I don't weigh umps all that heavy uh, in my bet selection process, but there are a few umps. You always want to know where they are and when they're behind home plate, and Ron Culpa is definitely one of them. He's been around for a while. He's umped a ton of games, so it's a big sample size, and it's not just a fluke. He definitely has under tendencies. The total did open 9.5, and, um, and if we could have got 9.5, we might be talking about a three-unit play here at 9.5, um, but we'll settle at 9 and think we have enough for a two-unit play. So let's go ahead and click in the under 9 Boston Cleveland for two units for the official daily play. Make sure to stay alert. Because if I do have a couple more plays, I'll send them out via the text. Uh, I have a few circled right now, and if I can confirm them, I'll definitely send them out. Um, and finally, you know, make sure to check for that college football uh, video later tonight or tomorrow so I can explain how we're going to get out all our football plays in a timely fashion. 
you know, of course, I'm not going to start making videos for every football play we make, but we have a good idea and a system set up, and uh, I'll explain that all in the upcoming video. But that's going to do it for now. Good luck today, and as always, may all the umps calls and all the loose balls go your way.